tax. Yeah. You first pay the tax that is called black tax because you are black. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And the white person is not your problem. Aye. <laughs> no, the white person is not your problem. Mm -hmm. The white person is the excuse for you not to deal with your problem. Because you are not the only race that has been put in slavery. Yes, I had a very powerful conversation and an argument about the type of slavery of a black person. Yeah. But I will tell you one thing. A race that makes excuse is a race that can never be anything. Yeah. What I've discovered about racism recently, because I'm writing my next eighth book, is racism, I'm going to say to you, is nothing but race preservation. Racism has nothing to do with hatred. That's bigotry. Racism has to do with controlling the wealth and the resource of a region to stay within the community of a particular race. Yeah. Even if it means making a CEO of a company. As long as you are governing white property, it's okay. So racism is not ugly. Racism is smart. Yeah. Within anything created is the propensity to colonize a territory. Anything that does not have a propensity to, territory, to colonize a territory is a malfunctioning species. Am I talking? Yeah. What the mm -hmm. black people should be doing should be colonizing territories than blaming people that colonize them. Because let me tell you the truth, every race should be preoccupied with expanding their kind. Yeah. I know we don't like this one because I just took away a lot of things. Because they racism, they hate us. No, they don't hate you. That's big age. Racism is the control of the wealth and the resource of a place. And can I tell you why you black people can't be racist? You can't, you don't control any resource. Yeah. You don't control any power. You don't control any mineral that can detect the destiny of a particular race. You don't. So you can't be racist. You just hate white people. You are big at You hate white people, but you can't be racist. Yeah. Because to be ra racist means power. It's a control of the wealth and the resource of a place. It's not hatred to people. I'm not talking now. It's not hatred to people. We need to recalibrate what it is. And please, can we say this? Join in the race. That's all you need to do, join in the race to control the wealth, the resource, and the power, and the territory to preserve your own kind. Even if it means making a white person a CEO of your company to keep the wealth in the black community, do it. <laughs> I know you are not used to this teaching. Touch your neighbor and say, in anything you, you can be. Touch them, say, in anything that you can be, please don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Let me show you something here. There are three major events that changed the dynamics of manhood in Africa and everywhere. There are three, and these dynamics are not race. It's an attack on manhood holistically. Hey, can I say this thing? Do you know why? What Hollywood wants to do, and what the devil wants to do, mm -hmm. and what the world wants to do to black people, is to put them in a dress. Yeah. You know why you cannot be a CEO for 35 years, faithfully a CEO, serving another man? If a black person has been a CEO of one company for 35 years, something is fundamentally wrong with him. Mm -hmm. You are a she-male, you are not a man. Yeah. <laughs> because men are created to rebel, to create their own. Yeah. When a man is employed in a company, he's studying how this one is running their own, and in his mind is also to start his own. Yeah. That's a man. This is why they say, the most faithful, and your wife to be a CEO for 35, they are automatically loyalists. Yeah. That's why a woman can be a CEO of one company for 35 years, yeah. because they are fundamentally loyalists. When a man is a loyalist to employment, there is something fundamentally wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna challenge first. You've been a teacher for 25 years and you've not, you've not, you don't have a college of your own. Something is fundamentally wrong. You are not a man, you are a she-man. You've got the shell of a man, but the substance of a woman. And you know what is painful now? We've got men who no longer know how to be men. Rebellion is masculine. Even Satan was a man, he challenged God. He says, I'm tired of serving. I want to be served also. Yeah. <laughs> but the real men no limitation. Yeah. There are things you don't challenge. You don't challenge this. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. Mm. I'm going to say something that is heavy today. Because <laughs>